praise the Lord. Glory to the Most High God. Amen. And welcome to everyone. Atlanta Live is just where we want you. Where is your seat tonight? That is the question. Where is your seat tonight? Are you in the center where the Lord is? Are you too far to the left, distracted? Are you too far to the right, uh, restricted? Somewhere between life's distractions and life's restrictions, we get off track. Where we want to invite everybody tonight, uh, Pastor Michelle Underwood Sears and I want to invite all of you tonight to take a seat in the center. Yes. We want you front and center mm -hmm. to enjoy tonight. Enjoy what God is giving us tonight. You know, the scripture teaches us, Michelle, to uh, seek wisdom, yes. to um, seek uh, insight, to, mm -hmm. to seek understanding, to grow ourselves spiritually, right. to grow and nurture who we are becoming for the kingdom. Yes. And I was reading uh, recently that uh, our uh, marketplace in the, in the book industry, the book publishing industry, there were over more than uh, 600 million books published uh, last wow. year. Uh, a, a increase over mm -hmm. uh, the book publishing uh, volume for 2015. Mm -hmm. And the uh, increase, part of that increase, was from the faith community, from Amen. the Christian community. Amen. Yes, I was so excited Amen. because we have authors here with us tonight, people yes. who have taken the time, who have yes. heard from the Lord, who have mm -hmm. taken the time to write it down, write the vision down so that God's people could be uh, uh, nurtured, people could be uplifted, people could be inspired. So if your seat is too far to the left, if your seat is too far to the right, we are, we are praying tonight that God will draw you, the Spirit of God will draw you to the center so you will be where you need to be close to the Lord. We are thrilled tonight to have an awesome mm -hmm. first guest. Yes. Nothing, nothing beats the beat of Christ-centered music. Yes. Nothing beats the beat of music coming to us from De Leon Carr. Yes. This is an awesome music ministry, and they are going to bring to us, I believe, as their very first selection Amen. tonight. So get ready, everybody. I Believe by De Leon Carr. signs and wonders. He can still heal the sick. He can still raise the dead. He is that same God today as he was in the Bible days. Come on. Song is real simple. I want you to listen to the words.
going. Yes. We are just excited. I believe, cannot wait to hear more yes. of them. Yes. Indeed, indeed. Yes, yes. Well, you know what? I am excited about our next guest. Uh, it's wonderful when we have the confidence to put our life in print. Mm -hmm. And then it's even more wonderful when people begin to read that which we put in print. Yes, yes, yes. So, Atlanta Live audience, please welcome with us tonight Ms. Velma Traham. Yes, God bless yes, you. Yes. It's a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. A pleasure. Thank, Thank you for coming you. and, and you. being with us tonight to talk about the things that God has done in your life. So, as Amen. we looked and we read about who you are and seen who you are, there's that one instance. I think we all have that one instance when something just clicks on in our head that there's more to life than that meets the eye. And so for you, unfortunately, there was a car crash. But tell us about how you literally walked away, not only in the natural, but you walked away with something else. Absolutely. Well, one of the things that's so important is that I realized that I had to come to the very end of myself, mm -hmm. right? A lot of times, it's not that we want to do it right. in the physical realm, mm -hmm. but then something happens, such as my car crash, right. when God will get your attention yes. so that you can do what you have been called to do mm -hmm. or what you're destined to do. Mm -hmm. So my crash, it was, to me, I think that it was just a wake-up call yes. for God to use me mm -hmm. to help other people that are going through so much. Mm -hmm. I've been through so much, even with, you know, just leaving Houston, just stepping out on faith. God said, go, right. you know, and I just said, okay, <laughs> then go, you know, but you know, it's so many people that are afraid to go. And when you're afraid to go, you don't really know what you're missing. Right. You know, and I stand today and I'm just so excited for what God has done. But not only did God allow me to walk away from the crash without a scratch, but he gave me new clarity. He gave me wisdom. He gave me knowledge and, and uh, a boldness to where I can say, you know what? If God can do this for right. me, he can do it for you too. Right. And it's good that you're willing to take what happened to be an example to those who may be uh, dealing with it. Should I go? Should I not go? Should I go? Should I not go? But then here you come and put your whole, the, the part that God wants you to share with the world in a book. Uh, I was just looking there at one scripture, uh, one chapter you talked about the meaning of Matthew 6, That is one of my favorite scriptures of all time. Seek ye first. The kingdom, kingdom of God heaven. and his righteousness. And then all these things Will be shall be added. So tell us about how that scripture just resonates in your life. Yeah, you know, oftentimes we get so busy with the things that's happening, you mm -hmm. know, work, then we mm -hmm. have family, right. um, then we have so many other things, yeah. distractions, yeah, you know, right. that's the enemy's trick right. is to distract us. Mm -hmm. if, yes. if the enemy can distract us, then it takes us further and further away from right. our mm -hmm. mission, mm -hmm. our goal. And so for me, Matthew 6 and 33, seek ye first the kingdom of heaven and then all of those things will be added. Mm -hmm. What that tells me is, is that I need to seek God first. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I need to seek him first, and then when I do that, then mm -hmm. he'll add all of those other things. Mm -hmm. So for me, being distracted, um, a lot of times we're so distracted, we don't know. We, we, we're going around in circles, mm -hmm. and we never get to the destination. Right. Because when we stop, mm -hmm. there's something else we got to do. Somebody's exactly. calling us, we're over here. But if you would just take that time to just honor God and to meditate in every day, Every morning before I start my day, I start my day in prayer and meditation. It's important. I cannot go a day without it right. because this, I have to seek God. Mm -hmm. And so that scripture means to me is just seeking God, really seeking him diligently, mm -hmm. not just saying it, right. but really seeking him, right. seeking the knowledge and the wisdom of God because we don't have that ourselves. We, a lot of people say, okay, world, worldly knowledge and wisdom, mm -hmm. but that's not the wisdom that I exactly. want. I want the wisdom and the knowledge from the creator right. of the universe. That's a good answer. That is powerful. I'm, I'm sitting here listening to you, and you are the consummate walking mm -hmm. um, uh, role model for us, what it means to survive that cliche we use, I feel like I've been hit by a Mack truck. Mm -hmm. Well, you were, you were in a crash with a semi-truck. Right. How do you rebuild from that? Tell us about the accident and what were you driving and how you got up and walked away from that? 
first of all, when, when God led me out of Houston, I wasn't supposed to have done any work, meeting nobody, trying to network or do anything for six weeks. God gave me, the Spirit of God gave me very specific instructions. So I received a call to meet someone, which I wasn't supposed to have been doing anyway. So I was doing it out of disobedience, right? Wow. I received a call the day before the accident from a prophet in Houston, um, Prophet Tony Irvin. He said, Velma, I need to pray with you. The Spirit of God is showing me where the enemy is trying to take you out. Mm -hmm. So I pulled over, he prayed for me, but who would have known the very next day mm -hmm. I would have had a crash? Mm -hmm. First of all, I took it, being disobedient, headed to the meeting, on the phone, was hit by a semi-tractor truck, spin me around in the middle of rush hour traffic. Wow. I was then hit by another car. Mm. All I heard people saying was, is she alive? Mm -hmm. The car was totaled, wow. totaled, the, the car sitting on the ground. And all I saw was my life flashing in front of me. And I realized at that point that I had been going, 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 doing what Velma wanted to do. And God said, you know what? I got to bring Velma to the end of Velma. Wow. So sometimes you gotta die in order to live. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And that was my rebirth. Mm. Wow. Mm. That's amazing. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, uh, you've got a book out. Yay for your yes, book. It says, yes, when God yes. says go. You know, and that word go, you know, uh, I think one of the things we always say, you know, I'll go where God tells me to go. You're right, until I'm me. Right, until, yeah. until he sends you somewhere you don't wanna go. Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And then we come with all excuses. Well, God, I can't explain or, or talk to our, our viewers tonight. How do you get the grace and the strength to actually go? Because go is action. Go yeah. is not in your head. Go is not in your heart. Go is, go is putting those two feet together and go, literally, the, by definition of the word go, talk to us how you actually do that. Because everybody wants to, mm. but maybe somebody doesn't have the strength to do that. You how know, do you do that? Wow. It was so powerful mm -hmm. because it was like I did, my flesh didn't really want to go. Right. Because in Houston, you know, I built my company mm -hmm. there, my family's there. Familiarity. Saying, it's familiar, mm -hmm. so I'm content with that. Mm -hmm. And so when the spirits say go, I'm like go. So you know, I I, I had to think about it, you know, and and you know, I'm like, are you Wait sure? Wait a minute, Lord, while I think. Wait sure. a minute, Lord, <laughs> are, am, am I really supposed to go? Right. But the reason I knew that. God was telling me to go is because oftentimes when God tell you to do something, it's not what you want to do. Mm -hmm. It's not what your flesh wants to do. Mm -hmm. So it, it's, it's, it's like a, a tug, you mm -hmm. know, like a tug of war. You, mm -hmm. your flesh want to do this, you right. want to do this, you want to do this. And then I just say, you know what? I'm going to step out on faith mm -hmm. and I'm going to go. And so I did that. You know, I left everything behind. Everybody thought I was crazy. My right. family, my friends, and my clients, it was like, Wait a minute, where are you going? God told you, you sure God told you to go? Where are you right. going? What are you going to do? I don't know. Right. I just know, I just know that God told me to go. Mm -hmm. And then to get here, then I have a crash, and now I'm really starting to doubt. I'm like, oh my God, okay, I did go. Right. Now I have a crash, right. and when does it stop? When does the storm stop? Mm -hmm. So I, I had to learn that God will send those storms to shake some things up mm -hmm. in your life. Right so that you can do the right thing, so that you can live for Christ, mm -hmm. so that you can be that light mm -hmm. in a world of darkness, so that you can love other people, so right. that you can have patience and, and, and do the things that he's called you to do. And so the crash, leaving Houston, coming to Atlanta, um, to fast forward today, um, being able to um, write the book and include some other very, very um, powerful women that have went through some go moments themselves. Mm -hmm. um, I believe that God is doing a new thing. And it's, it's, it's a thing that where it's not going to look like your look like the typical thing. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Because God is, is, is moving in, in, in different ways. He's shifting some things. And so for me, I'm just grateful that I was able to see what he was doing in my life and I didn't give up mm -hmm. because That's a lot good. of people would have given up. A lot of people would have thought this isn't what God had right. for me to do. A lot of people would not have even left right. because they would have tried to figure out what to do. Mm -hmm. But God will never show us the end from the beginning. But if we would just go. Mm -hmm. There are two things I think that are just so amazing 
a lot of people would not go. Who wants to do anything after an encounter with a semi truck? Okay, go really, Lord. I just want to chill out, rest, regroup. Right. Please don't give me anything else to do. Right. That is just amazing. Um, it says a lot about um, your uh, willingness to surrender to the Lord, uh, even as you said in the midst of disobedience. What I would love for you to uh, talk a, a little more about is uh, a go moment. I love that phrase, a go moment. Define for our viewers tonight, uh, what do you mean by a go moment? Right, a go moment for me, first of all, in order to know when it's your go time, you gotta have a relationship with Christ. A lot of people aren't hearing it because they don't have a relationship. Relationship meaning just like what we have with our husband, our family, our friends, that time that you really talk to God and hear God, pray to God and meditate, allowing God to speak to you. Um, and when you have that relationship with God, it will become very clear that it's your time to go. It will become very clear that fear, doubt, and disbelief can no longer have a place mm -hmm. because God have told you to go when God says go. Mm -hmm. Forget the fear, forget the doubt, forget the disbelief, forget what they say, forget what she think, mm -hmm. forget all of what is happening. Surrender, let go, the, let go of the pride, humble ourselves so that God can really, really begin to use us. So for me, that go means to step out on faith and really surrender, letting God navigate your path because we can't do it. The Bible says that God is able to do above and beyond yes. what we can even think of or imagine. Mm -hmm. So the, the God that created the universe, we don't know who we are because God created us. So a lot of us don't, we don't take that serious. And we really have to seek God and we have to go. A lot of times people think that they're losing if they go, mm -hmm. but they could be winning right. mm -hmm. if mm -hmm. they go. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. I, I like what you're saying about a go moment. It's really empowering. Yes. Because when we go, when he says go, then he has to take care of everything else. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, yes. You know, um, so when God says go, okay, that means he's got it all taken care of. All you got to do is just do what? Go. Mm -hmm. That is such empowering. And I really hope our listeners can really not only hear it, but embrace it Amen. and know that, you know what? When I listen to what Velma did and what she went through and came out on the other side, you know, because go, you can't stop. You got to you got to push that thing all the way to the end. So I think that is awesome about those go moments. And I think, you know, I don't know if you got a second book or anything like that on the horizon. I think you should have a chapter about those go moments. Go, you right. go again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Time to go again. Or go in real time. Oh, that'd be good. <laughs> That's in real good. Time. Yes, indeed. Amazing, amazing. Yeah. How do you encourage uh, young women? Uh, I'm, I'm very uh, prayer filled for our <coughs> up and coming young professional uh, women. Um, they're in high school, so they're in middle school, high school, mm -hmm. they're in college. Um, they're working two and three jobs if they're not uh, in college and some are in college and working two or three jobs. How do you encourage them uh, to uh, seek the kingdom of God first. What do you tell them? I tell them to first pray, mm -hmm. okay? Prayer is powerful. Mm -hmm. And even though it's not an instant thing, because a lot of times people pray and they don't automatically see something happening, mm -hmm. and then they begin to think that it's not working. Right. But prayer is like deposits. Like when you go to the bank, you're depositing money, and the more it gets there, you'll be able to withdraw. Right? right so that's how prayer is you know and growing up you know in adversity and poverty mm -hmm. and things of that sort i have been able to overcome that just over the past few years because i've realized that what we see in the world is not really what it is okay. now if you would just remember that there is consequences for everything. Right. If you do things that you don't have any business doing, mm -hmm. there are consequences. Mm -hmm. When you do the right thing, there's a reward. Right. And the Bible tells us that there are no losses in the kingdom of heaven. Right. And so when you do what is right, 
then greatness will then follow you. Mm. Don't look at what they're doing and say, oh, well, I want to look like that. I want to do what they're doing or I want to. It's just what it looks like. Right. Because inside, a lot of people are broken and hurt and we have to do certain things to make people believe that we're not going through certain things. Right, right. But we're all going through something mm -hmm. in life. Right. Regardless of how beautiful it looks on the outside. Right. So my... What I would say is, don't look at what you see with the physical eye. Right, exactly. Walk by faith, know what your goals are, mm -hmm. stay intentional about reaching them, make plain, whatever your goals are, right. write it out, make it plain and clear. Mm -hmm. The Bible say write that people down. perish for lack of vision. Right. Yes, yes. And right. so you have to write the vision down and make it plain right. and clear, right. and then you begin to follow those steps, put some action plans Excellent. in place right. so Excellent. Oh, that Bell. you do not that get awesome. distracted. Very quickly, tell us how to keep in contact with you. Facebook, mm -hmm. Twitter. Yep, VelmaTraham.com and Facebook, official Velma Traham, Velma Traham on Instagram. Awesome, thank awesome. you so much. Awesome. You're welcome. We are just excited about, it's time to go again, the it's next time. book. <laughs> and we'll be right back that. as well. <laughs> just the word of God coming for our viewers just to reinforce yes. how we're growing spiritually after the powerful uh, sharing uh, from Velma Traham. Thank you so much for You're being welcome. with us. Thank you for God having God bless me. you. Thank you. And welcome. Thank you so much. Listen, this is where the heartbeat of Atlanta Live is. This is a place where you can call for prayer. You know, we live in a time nowadays where everybody needs prayer. No matter your socioeconomic, no matter where you live, we all need prayer. And so on tonight, if you need prayer, please call us here in the prayer room at 770 three zero zero nine eight two eight and these awesome prayer warriors are here to pray with you to offer comfort because let me tell you we live in, in the last and evil days that's what my grandfather used to always tell us when we was kids and listen if you don't know god you need to get to know god i want to introduce to you now miss joyce she's one of our prayer partners here she's one of the ladies that's here that wants to pray with you and intercede with you and just to help you let you know that you're not in this thing alone and a lot of times, if you know that you've got company, even in the hard times, boy, you can walk through anything. Miss Joyce, thank you so much for being a prayer partner here at Atlanta Live on tonight. So can you tell us what kind of calls you've been getting in on tonight? Yes, we're um, having some calls come in where people are dealing with depression, mm. emotional issues. Uh, we have calls where people are dealing with uh, demonic spirits, wow. you know, with their family members, mm -hmm. seeing the manifestation of that. Of course, financial issues are a problem for a lot of people. Mm -hmm. Those are the kind of issues right. that we're getting so far tonight. Right. But you know what? No matter what we call it, we know that God, God is greater. Mm -hmm. Greater mm -hmm. is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Mm -hmm. And so tonight, if you're watching us on tonight and you don't know whether or not 
You should make the God your choice. We want Miss Joyce to read to you now Romans 10, 9 through 10. And after she reads that, take a minute to, to look in your heart and say, you know what? I need Jesus. I need God. And then we're going to bring you into prayer. Go ahead, Miss Joyce. Amen. This is a great time to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to be your Lord and Savior if yes. you've not done it before. And it's simple. I mean, you may say, I don't know how to do that, but it's simple. He mm -hmm. spelled it out in Romans, the 10th chapter, verses 9 and 10. Mm -hmm. He said, if you will confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus Christ and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead you shall be saved it's as simple as that if you believe in your heart that Jesus was raised from the dead and you confess it with your mouth now repeat after me if that's what you want to do tonight just say father I know I am a sinner and I ask you to forgive me I believe Christ died for me please come back into my life Lord in Jesus name and if you prayed that simple prayer we now welcome you into the body of Christ and now we go back to the studio for more options thank you we are excited to be back we are with Deleon Carr powerful music ministry that already kicked off the program for us this evening. I am standing with a hometown homeboy, as we would say in school, uh, Deleon Carr. Tell us about this awesome ministry. Praise God. Well, these I call them my ATL All-Stars. They are some of the best singers and musicians in Atlanta and in this country. You got KB down here. He's um, um, produced a lot of my vocals and everything. I have Deborah here. She's an artist in her own right. Check her out, Deborah Murray. I have, we call her Cheeky, Rochelle, um, my sister here. And then I have LaShawn all the way from the DMV, just moved, relocated to Atlanta, and I call them my AT All-Stars. And this is just a portion of them. And we're just a group of people that love to come together and uplift the name of Jesus in excellence. Praise the Lord. How long have you all been in music ministry together? Well, as a group, well, not necessarily a group, but um, I've been in music ministry, oh gosh, um, over 20 years. All right, all um, right. Individually, everybody has their own musical career as excellent, well. And excellent, so. excellent, excellent, excellent. Um, what are you working on in terms of where can our audience find you all performing next? Oh, what wow. What will you be ministering next? Um, we're some of everywhere. Um, we just released um, our project Church Boy Soul back in April on Church Good Friday. Church Boy Soul. Church Boy Soul. Mm, what a name. Yes. <laughs> and so right now we're on a promo tour. So we want to come to your city. We want to come to your church. We want to come to your bar mitzvah. We want to come to your baby shower. We want to come awesome, wherever you will invite awesome, us. Awesome. We're excited. Church Boy Soul. Soul. Yes. Tell me about that project. How did you come to name it that. I mean, and I always like to name something first and then I work towards mm -hmm. accomplishing what it represents. Yes. Everybody doesn't work like that. That's right. So tell me about this project. Well, I'm a church boy. When it came down to it, I, you know, I veered out a little bit and, and, and experimented with some other types of music and other genres. And when it came down to it, I always ended back at church. Mm. And no matter what I tried to sing, my voice still said church. Mm. And so I still got that soul in me and I was able to take from some of those genres and and include it in what God had already given me, and so we made Church Boy Soul. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Is there a particular uh, narrative in Scripture that shapes, uh, that has inspired how you operate as a music minister? Oh, wow. Um, so many. Um, one will be... Um, Let's see, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. It was a time where I didn't feel like I was capable to do things. Mm -hmm. I, and, it's, and still now my faith is challenged. But that scripture allows me to stand on this word and know that I am who he called me to be and who he said I am. And I can do all things no matter what through him because okay. he's the one that gives me the strength. And is there another one? Oh, wow. Uh, <laughs> so many. We've got uh, so many people in Atlanta that are into music, <laughs> into music ministries. Yes. Just wanting to help guide them right. by sharing how God spoke to you. Yes. And, and understanding where you are in terms of the word of the Lord and right. how that speaks to you is just yes. one way of helping those who may be watching. Right. That. Another simple one would mm -hmm. be, I shall live and not die. Mm. It was mm. a time also where I battled with suicide mm. and low self-esteem, and I wanted to kill myself, and I wanted to wow. end my life. But God said, no, you shall live because I have a work for you to do in the kingdom Amazing. and in the earth. And so I live by that every day. I shall live and not die to declare the words and the works of the Lord. So when you were coming up, that's just awesome. Who inspired you? When you were having uh, distressful moments, yes. who inspired you? Oh, wow. 
so who, many. Who did you listen to? Who did I listen to? Oh, um, so many people. I'm a choir boy okay. at heart. So right. um, my mentor, Ricky Dillard, was mm -hmm. one. Okay, um, all right. I could always listen to choir music, and it would bring me great joy to sing along with those mm -hmm. choir songs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Old songs like Milton Brunson and the Tom Oh, my goodness, singers. yes, yes. I'm, I mean, yes. I'm a church boy at heart. At so heart. I go okay. all the way back to the Hawkins. Yes, And people yes, like yes. that. And and the, even local people like um, Reverend Dreyfus Smith and the Wings of Faith mm -hmm. Mass mm -hmm. Choir and, yes, and, yes. and so many Reverend Belmer Watkins and so many people yes, here in the city of Atlanta yes. who I just grew up under. Yes. And so it was just a blessing to be able to be inspired by these people and sit at their feet as well. Outstanding. So what are you going to do next in terms of uh, a project? Um, what, what are you looking to do next? Well, Is there a movie <coughs> coming out, Church Boy Soul? <laughs> Uh, book series. What can we expect next? Well, we've got so much going on. Um, I have my clothing line, which okay. is called um, Dashikis by De Leon. All right. And actually, um, the singers have on my clothing tonight as well as me. All so right. I have my All clothing right. line. I was, I'm Excellent. blessed to travel to I didn't Africa. get the memo, but that's okay. <laughs> next time, that's I'll okay. be in I uniform. got you. You got, got it. You. All right. Excellent. I got you. Excellent. Excellent. As well as um, the Live Movement, which is my nonprofit organization. We just had an event called the Soul Revival to raise money for an orphanage finish there in Ghana that I'm able to visit often. Excellent, excellent, and so we just excellent. got so many more other things coming up um, that we want to touch the lives of people with and so we're excited. That is tremendous, just tremendous. Yes. It is um, amazing to be with a music ministry that is giving back locally yes. and giving back internationally. How did you get involved with the orphanage in Ghana? Well, um, I've been blessed to um, be a uh, flight attendant at, with Delta Airlines. Uh -huh, uh -huh. And so um, actually I was going over on a work trip <laughs> <laughs> and I noticed um, one of my coworkers had, had a whole bunch of stuff he, she was carrying to an orphanage. And she said, you should come along one day. Went with her, and my life was changed was forever. Mm. And I knew then that was my purpose to give back to that orphanage. Oh, my, my, mm. my. So you're one of those bivocational ministers, Yes, huh? got to. All right, flying by day, Listen, singing by night. got to keep those benefits. <laughs> <laughs> God is a provider. Yes, he Jehovah is. Jehovah Jireh. And he does it yes, every single day. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Of the songs you are providing uh, for us tonight, is there one in particular that speaks to your heart? This next one is one that's really close to me. It's called Draw Me Close. Draw Me Close. And um, it has really um, been a blessing to me because it just says how I want to be wrapped in his arms I'll and stand. be in his presence. We can't do anything without his presence. Can't do anything without him. I am so proud of you. Thank I'm you. so proud to be with all of you. And we are excited about the next song. That's Let's right. put it together, everybody. I was blessed to travel to Ghana, Africa, and I was inspired by their worship and how they love to worship God and give God their all their glory and honor. And so we came up with this song. It was written by a writer in Dallas, Texas, Titus Glenn. And we were able to put something to it and put a little African feel to it. We want you to sing it with us. And it says, I long to be with you. Just to be close to you. I long to be with you in your presence, oh Lord. I long to be with you. Just to be closer to you. I long to be with you in your presence. Oh Lord, draw me close to you. Never let me go. Wrap me in the cradle. The cradle Draw me close to you, never let me go. Wrap me in the cradle, the cradle of your arms, yeah. I long to be with you. Is that anybody's prayer tonight? Long to be closer to you. I just want to be close to you today. I long to be with you. 
worship with us. Psalm says, draw me close to you. Never let me go. Wrap me in the cradle. The cradle of your arms. Draw me close to you. Never let me go. Wrap me in the cradle. The cradle of your arms. be close, yeah, never let me go, I want to be in the cradle, draw me close to you, never let me go, never let me go, the cradle of your heart, draw me close to you, I want to be close. Remember this hymn? Near a blessed Lord to the cross where thou hast stayed. Draw me nearer, near a blessed Lord to thy precious. Praise the Lord. Amazing. Just amazing. Draw me closer. That's some powerful music ministry. My, my, my. I love to see young people on the move for the Lord, on fire for the Lord. Amen. I just love it. And I, I, I love the fact that they are a legacy of the work and efforts of those who have come before yes. them. Yes. People who are preparing the way for the next generation. Yes. And our next guests have been doing just that. Yes. This is a husband and wife ministry team, yes. Pastor Clarence Fairley and Minister Lisa Fairley. This, 
This is an awesome dynamic duo, yes. and we welcome you to Atlanta Live. Yes. Thank, Thank you for God being with you. us. Authors, ministry, authors, and, and in particular, uh, faith-centered uh, writing and the works that you have published. I want to start with the first author in the family. I was teasing uh, Pastor Clarence because he wrote a, his first book, and then his wife wrote the next book, and then he came back and he wrote another book. I said, this is a tag team. And Amen. so I, I, I want to start with you, uh, Pastor, to just share with us how did the Holy Spirit inspire you to write this book, God's Law versus Man's Law? How did that evolve? Well, after looking at, you know, news and everything, people are changing laws around to fit, mm -hmm. you know. Amen. You know, it's strips to say that the way of a man seems right. Yeah. right. But until then, you know, at the end, it's there. Yes. So, yes. but see, whenever we put everything on God's scale, mm. and God's scale is always going to be in the favor of his people and yes. his children. So therefore, yes, we have yes. to be more obedient to God law rather than to man law. Where do you see the gap? Where, where are we falling short? Where is society? Where is the greater community? Where are people missing it? Where are we messing up? I think I would say uh, love and affection. Mm. That we have sold out. Mm. We, uh, Jesus told Peter, say, love is not me, feed my sheep. Mm -hmm. so we have to feed the people with the truth. Yes. You mm -hmm. know, we cannot say, if God say, thou shall not, we cannot come back and compromise the word of God and say, well, mm -hmm. it's okay. It's, 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 it's okay, God mm, understand. Oh, my, you know, my, my. Because at judgment day, I mean, I say what we are doing, we are crippling our people. Yes, yes, yes. So we are putting them on crutches, so you should just go on Walmart, Walgreens, get the armpit pads to make them comfortable <laughs> because all you're doing is <laughs> making them comfortable, you know? But we have to we have to give the people the word of God without compromise. Without we compromise. have to speak the truth. Mm -hmm. And this way we will give them a choice, you know? Mm -hmm. But we, 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 we can no longer keep saying it's okay. Mm, it's okay. Mm. You know, because the scripture tells us that one day every knee going to bow mm. and every tongue going to confess. Yes. Yeah. And we could feel that we have gotten away with something on this earth. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But God is busy writing mm -hmm. and watching. Mm -hmm. And God is a Supreme Court, a Supreme Court judge. You know? <laughs> so therefore, we're going to have to give an account to him. The Supreme, Supreme, Supreme Court judge. <laughs> I hear you. I hear you. How have your readers responded? Mm. What have people come back and said to you after reading mm. God's Law versus Man's Law? Uh, do they feel condemned? Do they feel... Uh, redirected. What's been the reaction? Oh, they say it was an eye opener. Mm -hmm. it, it was encouraging. You know? Yes, encouraging eye right. opener. You know, and that's another thing why I would look. I look at all the murders and everything taking place, and, and I said, "Well, God, why is all this shooting?" And He revealed it to me, and that's when we came up with a better way. Mm -hmm. You know, for the young men, you know, mm -hmm. there's a better way that you does not have to be. It's desisted, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. you does not have to be property of the state. Mm -hmm. Exactly. You know, you know exactly. rather than having what is six, eight digit code, whatever it is. Exactly. You Living can say CEO, president, entrepreneur, you know, that we can do our thing through Christ mm -hmm. which strengthen yes. us, you yes. know. Yes. So we, we we cannot just sit back and just wait on someone to just throw us what they want us to have, you know, wow. because we already have the victory, but now all we have to do is claim it and walk in it. Yes, you know? yes, yes, yes. That's, That's powerful. That's oh, powerful. Mm. Well, so then we now know the foundation that, that this awesome man of God has, so therefore God only had to connect you with his own all good right. help meet here. Praise God. His lovely wife, <laughs> Minister Lisa. Praise As God. you've written the book, uh, Job chapter 42. Yes. After this. After this. Ooh, after talk this. to us about this title, about after this. 
Well, after this, you know, the funny thing about us, when, when we're going through struggles, mm -hmm. when, when, when things are coming after you, mm -hmm. and, and it seems like one thing right after the other, mm -hmm. and with Job, if you remember, Job, it, it just, well, he, he, buried all, he buried all his children, mm -hmm. and before he could bury all his children, his health started to mm -hmm. fail, before, and before he could get over that, there was something else mm -hmm. going on, and then, then the next thing, then it's the people that were supposed to encourage him. Encourage him. Mm -hmm. Yes. That had his back, you know. Mm -hmm, right. Mm -hmm. And they said, What'd you do wrong? Right. Mm. And Job, Job's wife said, mm -hmm. Just curse yes, God and God. die. Mm -hmm. But what, 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 what the Spirit revealed to me is he, he, he was just in the center of the, of the book, right. he wasn't at the end of the oh. book. Oh. Oh, my, That's my, good. my. You can't quit. Yes. It, it, the Spirit says, You can't quit uh, oh. in the middle of the book. Come on now. <laughs> so chapter 42 mm. is the last chapter in mm -hmm. there. And when I got to chapter 42, mm -hmm. God started restoring things. Yes. He started giving it back, everything that Ooh, he lost. Mm -hmm. And he didn't just give it back. Mm -hmm. He gave him more than he had to begin with. Right. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when, when, when things are coming after us and we feel like giving up, mm -hmm. I heard someone say earlier, you know, we, we, it, 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 the spirit of suicide comes mm -hmm. and, and, and you want to quit mm -hmm. and you don't mm -hmm. feel like you can go mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so he gave me this word. That's amazing. To encourage. There's, it, it's a collection of, of, um, I started out blogging actually. Mm -hmm. My pastor said, you need to put that, you need to write that down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I started out blogging. And so it's a collection of devotions mm -hmm. that would encourage my heart, mm -hmm. would encourage my spirit. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. God has given, mm -hmm. you know, God is such an amazing God. Mm -hmm. yes, he gives yes, us what yes, we need yes, when yes, we need it. Yes, yes, now, now, yes. now my husband, he, he's, he's, he's strong. Get in there and get, and get you the word. And right. I, 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 hey, like he said, no compromise. Right. And there is no compromise with God's word. Amen. Right. But right. God also, he says, you know, you may not, you may not be able to receive all that at once. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. he says, he says, with loving kindness. Have yes. Have I drawn yes. that? Yes. 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 And somebody has been wounded, mm -hmm. has been battered, mm -hmm. has yes. been oppressed. Yes. And yes. so he says, I want you to go to him. And with loving kindness, I want you to draw one. That's good. Mm. That's good. And to give them an expected end, because isn't that what Jeremiah 29, 11 tells us? Yes. We have yes. an expected end. And yes. so I love what you say, after this, yeah. because a lot of times we quit. We At quit. the first sign, it's too hard, it's too heavy, I done cried too long, I've done everything too long. But if we can just stay whole and stay hold on to him yes. and get to and after this. Exactly. Get to the place of exactly. restoration. Exactly. Oh, Minister Lisa, but that's you have awesome. To, but there has to be someone there. Yes. That yes. will yes. encourage you. Exactly. That, yes. Your after this is not my after no, this. No, that's right. And vice versa. That's right. right. And that's why you have to have yes. uh, ministry yes. support and guidance. Yes. yes. Tell us about uh, A Better Way and the other ministries uh, that you are providing to do just that, to provide the support and the guidance. Well, it's it's to encourage the young men, okay. you know, to discipline the young men, mm, okay. to instill positive influence in them, okay. you know, to not just be fallen of the world, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but follow Christ, right. mm -hmm. you know, yeah. I mean, to keep your pants up. <laughs> you know, she yes. said, you know, you know, keep 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 your pants up, mm -hmm. you know, and and instill confidence in yourself that yes. you can be yeah. whatever yeah. you want to be. Exactly. You know, yes. that yes. Uh, I mean, the sky is the limit. You know, mm -hmm. yes, yes. Don't just don't just throw your life away, but it's to encourage and also to prepare them for work. You know, in the church, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I feel this is. What we need more of, you know, as as a deacon, you know, that your responsibility is to look out for the welfare of the church. Right. right you know, right. not just do a hymn and collect right. offerings, you know. I mean that there there's there, there, the money. Right, there, right, there, right. There, 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 there's the there, 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 right, there, there, there's a whole lot more in so right. I'm just trying to make foolproof Prepare the next generation. Yes. Uh, my ministry, you yes. know, yes. right, yes. you know, to yes. exactly. and to instill in them because whatever we train them when they go out into the world, mm -hmm. you know, that they're going to retain it. 
Right. Yes, Even if yes. they go to a different state yet, they are still trained because yes. that knowledge, that wisdom, right. and that teaching is will, there. will follow Train them. Up a child you, you're right. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. yes. So I saw something about cultured pearls. Is Absolutely. that yours? And, and that, that's the sister okay. organization so talk to, to, about that. to um, his better way. Mm -hmm. It's um, cultured pearls, and and the um, sub uh, we have right up on the cultured pearls is uh, cultured pearls cultivating mm -hmm. the natural pearl. Oh, okay. Mm, I like because, that. Because uh, all of us know how pearls are formed mm -hmm. and created. Right. And it just a little bit of a uh, grain of sand mm -hmm. in there. We want to be that grain in oh, there that, that that helps them to grow layers. Yeah. And so we, mm -hmm. what we want is the young, um, it's a group of uh, experienced. Mm -hmm older ladies being obedient to uh, Titus, mm -hmm. the second chapter, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the fifth mm -hmm. verse, mm -hmm. where the right. older women teach, teach. the younger yes, ch younger yes, women. Yes. yes. And so we want to be a positive force in their lives. Right. Yes, we want to yes. mentor them while they're able to be molded. Right. And and it, it, we're not taking the parents' place because, right. but we want to, we want to equip these young ladies mm -hmm. and we want to be partners with the parents right. because mm -hmm. you know they they say it takes a village yes right but the village is leaving come on yes exactly. and so what we need to do I, everybody remembers that one person in church the mother of the church you mm -hmm. remember yes. back when we oh, had mothers in the church yes. and mm -hmm. we had the deacons and, right. and like he said the brother deacons so -and -so, yes brother so -and, -so. And, it, and it didn't yes. matter mm -hmm. if it was brother so and so if you needed to be called to the side right. and you needed to be corrected yes. it was okay yes mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. you could trust yes. that they were correcting you mm -hmm. and, right. and giving you the the tools that exactly. you needed to, exactly. I, I still, I still thank God for a deacon that that took out his hymn book that he took every Sunday mm -hmm. and taught us how to. Uh, he said, "Call a hymn." Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you speak to somebody now and say, "Well, uh, do the hymn, hymn in common mm -hmm. meter," mm -hmm. and somebody's gonna, "What do you mean common meter?" <laughs> you know. I, but I know what you're talking but, about. But you know, <laughs> I was raised like yes, that. Yes. 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 Uh, a charge yes. to keep I have. Oh, I God, died to God yes. yes. I Come never die and sold to yes. save. It. But that was all a foundational. Yes. 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 And that's what we want for our culture mm -hmm. pros right. is to have that foundation right. because when you get that foundation mm -hmm. and you get that instilled in you you can go anywhere do anything right. and and you you have the tools right exactly you know exactly. so many yes. so yes. many groups teach their history and pass it on yes. so that the generations coming mm -hmm. up are aware of who they are yes. whose they are yes. and how their community mm -hmm. has gotten where they are I and so, so what you're talking about mm -hmm. um teaching the old hymns teaching the mm -hmm. teaching the values wow. that made yes. a difference yes. uh, that raised up a people mm -hmm. um is that's that's powerful yes. that's so so important how do you um how do you connect with young men how do you recruit the young men and the young women for your ministries that's one of the things we're um, by uh, nomination. Mm -hmm. We we like for those that are showing the traits of, mm -hmm. of wanting to be wanting to be molded. Mm -hmm. Now, because you, you can you can um, I've I had a um, God revealed uh, gave me a wow moment not long ago, mm -hmm. and it, it it was like you can plant that seed. Mm -hmm. But once you put it in the ground, mm -hmm. you don't go back and pull it up, mm -hmm. right? And look at it and see if it's if it's growing. Right. You just plant right. the seed. Right. Oh, okay. So you have to you have to be willing to receive that mm -hmm. that's been planted. Okay. So what All we right. do is we um, work we work through the schools. Oh, we excellent. work um, we also work with the community mm -hmm. right. to. Um, to, to nominate mm -hmm. and, and and it's by nomination and we take excellent yes uh, excellent. we'll take a bio mm -hmm. and see what the needs are so they have to be interviewed and e yes excellent yes ma'am excellent. Yes, excellent. Yes, excellent now you all are in Lawrenceville we're in Loganville Loganville okay. yes ma'am mm -hmm. right. so we're right at the Lawrenceville Loganville uh, Gwinnett Walton County uh, area excellent yes, that is powerful powerful yes, how many young people have you been working with we've started out now um, we have four Four right now, mm -hmm. four young ladies, and we, the the goal is to have a mentor for each young lady. Excellent, excellent. And so this is new. This You're is just brand new. Started. Yes, ma'am, brand this new. Is awesome. Perfect timing. Yes, yes. Right. Perfect timing because mm -hmm. uh, so many of our young people. Uh, needed and I know that as the word gets around this is what you're offering Amen. there will be more oh, yes, yes yes there will yes. be more nominations 
coming in. And, and uh, we, we have, um, right now we have uh, eight ladies that are willing to mentor. These are, these are excellent. women that are, that are godly women mm -hmm. that yes. are, and I, I tell each one of them, it's, if we have just a little bit more time, I can tell you that God strategically placed them. Yes, yes, Strategically. Yes. Mm -hmm. Now, this is a vision he gave He gave us years and years ago. Mm -hmm. But in his timing. In God's time. In his timing. Yes. And I would yes, meet these yes. ladies, and I was like, it was like we connected. There was, mm -hmm. a, there was a, a connection of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And we would meet, and I was like, it's so amazing that person's in my life. And every one of those ladies are now a part of this. And they have their own special gift and their own special uniqueness mm -hmm. that they bring. Mm -hmm. And I'm always in awe of God because I'm going, oh, my goodness, he brought you in my life with this purpose. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was walking through the grocery store and met one of the ladies. Wow. I met one lady, at, at the, yes, exactly. one lady at my That's little granddaughter's daycare. Yes. And all of these ladies strategically got yes. placed. Wonderful. Yeah. How can we get in touch with you, the uh, members of the community that are interested in what you're doing? How can they reach you? Their um, ministry we, contact number. Yes, we both have we both have the website pastor okay. fa pa pastor c .com, Okay. Minister Lisa Fairly .com. All right, pastor c Fairly mm -hmm. .com and minister Lisa. Fairly.com. Mm -hmm. I just love this tag love team I know. for the kingdom. Awesome. You all are doing awesome. awesome work. Yes, it is. It's a blessing. It's the done. need is done. there. Amen. Praise the Lord. You know, the, the psalmist says how good it is when the people of God dwell together yes. in unity and uh, sharing a ministry with you uh, each time we are together, Michelle, is just profoundly awesome. Oh, thank um, you, Ms. Yolanda. I enjoy it's it. It's just so insightful um, what we hear from our guests. And yes. tonight has just been uh, amazing. Mm -hmm. uh, the music ministry. Uh, the giftedness of the young people yes. who are with us, uh, yes. uh, Delion Carr, and mm -hmm. what they're uh, doing is they surrender to God in their lives. And each of the guests, our author, uh, Velma Traham, who survived a, uh, sh which should have been a fatality yes. uh, in terms of a car accident mm -hmm. uh, that a pastor called her the day before and had right. prayer with her, mm -hmm. that God would have him uh, cover her in prayer yes, yes. and uh, that she would walk away what came anyway mm -hmm. didn't change any of the incidents right. and she walked away from that Amen. and um, Amen. you know Psalm 39 you know when I sit you know when I rise you know mm -hmm. uh, nothing is uh, hidden from God right. and so Amen. I'm just uh, blessed by yes. um, 
uh, the sharing of the narratives that we've experienced tonight. And then the families, oh, this awesome. ministry tag team. Yes, yes. Um, this husband and wife who've been in ministry a long time and yes. who could be saying, I'm going to retire. Right. Uh, I'm not going to deal with mm -hmm. this next generation. Um, you know, let them knock each other out. <laughs> let them have it, which is what a lot of people say. I don't want right. to be bothered with them. Right. I'm scared of them. I don't know what right. they're going to do. And instead, they've launched two ministries. Right. Gender specific, which always works. Yes. All the experts will tell you, mm -hmm. let the young man be with the young yes. man and let the young ladies be with yes, the young ladies. exactly. So they can work on their stuff. Right. They will hear you differently, and that's right. what they're doing. Right. And it's just a it's powerful amazing. blessing. It's amazing. You know, and they're also talking about going back to old foundation. Yes. Go, go, go back to the old landmark. Yes. Because you know what? Yes. Those things had to work. Yes, yes. You yes. know, but we're always trying to recreate the wheel. Why create a wheel that's already working? And so I love the fact that they're going in and teaching God's word, teaching it for what it is. Don't add to and don't take exactly, away. Exactly, exactly. So I, I bless God for both of our, our guests that have already been here. Yesterday, today. And forever. Forever. The Lord is the same. Yes. And DeLeon Carr is going to sing about yes. it. God will take care. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. So let's enjoy this music ministry. Now listen. I told y'all I was a church boy. So come on and have church with me. Come on, put your hands together like this. Come on, say, be not dismayed. Whatever be time, God will. He will take care of you. Beneath his wing of love. Ways of affliction sweep over your soul. God will, He will take care of you. Just trust in Jesus, He'll take control. God will, He will take care of you. God will. Again, it says, Be not dismayed whenever be tired, God will. He will take care of you. Beneath his wings of love will abide, God will. He will take care of you. When waves of affliction.
Listen, we got this little chant that we like to say, and it basically just says, all is well, and everything is under control. Can you sing it with us? church say amen. Amen. Whoa, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Oh, my, my. Amen. That is amen. just powerful, yes, powerful ministry. Yes, indeed. God my, will. My, my. God will. Amen. Yes. That's a yes, promise. Amen. When I think of the word will, that's the promise that he's amen. making to me. God will take care of you. Amen. Yes. We thank God so much for blessing us with the yes. awesome music yes. ministry of Delion Carr. You know, listen, you guys need to find out where he's going to be so that they can bless you firsthand the way they've blessed us on tonight. Oh, my Amen. goodness. Yes, front indeed. Row seat front row seat. Front row seat. It's been a, a amazing. Spectacular. Yes, indeed. Spectacular ministry. So we're now we're going to meet some other wonderful people, Yolanda. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes. This couple, I tell you, in the short period of time, I like them. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. So therefore, Atlanta and the surrounding areas, I just want to introduce you to now to Apostle and Elect Lady Berry. God bless you, both of you, bless for being you. here with us tonight. God bless you. Yes, yes indeed. Yes, Amen. indeed. You know, just looking at your profile and who you are, there's one thing I just want to go, just jump right in, if that's Amen. all right with you. Yes. I love the name of your church. Amen. Because yes. the name of your church Amen. is action. Mm -hmm. Amen. And I want to make sure I got it right. You're right. Healing. Yes. Restoration. <laughs> yes. And compassion. Mm -hmm. Yes. I know a lot of healing churches. Amen. I know a lot of restoration churches. Amen. Mm, Amen. Don't know too many compassion churches. Mm -hmm. Come on and tell us how God gave you that name and how you guys function and to flow. To bring all three of them together. In, in one Amen. house. Talk yes. to us, Apostle. Oh, well, well, my life started out there. Well, thank God for WATC 57 yes. for, for opportunity. Well, my life started off uh, at the age of 13. Uh, I got a call from God at the age of 13, but my life, I was not ready. Mm -hmm. I would just begin to see life as a child. Mm -hmm. And so when the Lord called me, I ignored him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And his spirit, I began to, you know, when I started off, my mom took me to church, mm -hmm. and after church, we would come home, and I would act like the preacher. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> me and my sister, they would be the choir. Of course. Yes, and, and I would put on this, this sheet, and I would oh, throw it yeah. around. Oh, and yes, I would just, been there. And I would yes, just act like my yes. pastor. I would just act like my yes, pastor. I would yes, yes, Didn't yes. even know that uh -huh. that was something a part of God's plan. Exactly. But as I got the call, I said, Lord, you know, I said, you know, the spirit of God began to, the spirit, I didn't know, I just, a sure. spirit. Mm -hmm. And I said, I just, I just ain't ready right now. I said, I just want to enjoy my life. Mm -hmm. So from then, it started going down yeah. heels, okay? Mm -hmm. My first accident was, mm. I was, Going to a club, I had got, you know, wanted to enjoy myself, so I went to a mm -hmm. club one night. Good time one night. Yeah, mm -hmm. and on the way back home, my car flipped seven times. Wow. It, uh, over, and I ended up in a ditch, and I got out, and I walked home. Mm -hmm. That's wow. the first story, though, the first beginning of wow. it. And then after that, this is the part right here that really got my attention. Mm. After that, I got older. 
I mean, I was getting older. And all of a sudden, I got married. And all of a sudden, one night, I got shot. I got shot in the chest, close distance. Wow. Like, as they shot, they left me in the yard for dead at 3 o'clock one morning. Wow. Uh, so 3 o'clock in the morning, I was standing in an apartment complex. Wow. Uh, and as I laid there, shot, the person ran in the house and left me out there in the yard. So there would be a book coming up, left for dead, mm -hmm. later on. But they left me in the yard for dead. Mm -hmm. Three o'clock, no, nothing moving. And as I laid there, I heard a voice say, get up. Mm -hmm. And as I got up, knowing that I don't know where to happen, I'm, I'm so hot. Right. But I heard a voice say, get up, because I was laying there at three o'clock that morning. Mm -hmm. And as I get up, he had to lead me to a department complex. Mm -hmm. And as I got to a, a door, or one of the, the uh, apartment, I rang the doorbell. And when I rang the doorbell, I fell in the house. Mm. Mm. Jesus. As I fell in the house, I started going through a tunnel, mm -hmm. called the tunnel of death, what he, he called it. And I seen my whole life wow. flash before my face. Mm -hmm. It's like I was going through a tunnel of mm -hmm. death. Mm -hmm. Everything that I did, I seen it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I began to hear a voice saying, the bullet, I still have to mark, the bullet is going to kill him because it's going to touch his heart. Mm -hmm. And I began to hear all the negative stuff, and mm -hmm. I'm just standing there going through a tunnel mm -hmm. of death. Mm -hmm. So I get to this door, and the door was cracked. And it was dark on the one side of the door. Mm -hmm. And the wind was like a force trying to pull me. Mm. But as I get so close, the door said, mm. slam. On. And then I heard a voice say, it's not time for you it's to go. Time. OK. As I come back, they come back. I mm. end up in an ambulance, mm. OK? They take me to the hospital. Mm. They roll me in. As they roll me in the hospital, mm -hmm. I don't know what happened. Anyway, I came out of my body. OK. Mm -hmm. And when I woke up, I see, when I looked, I see my body laying on the table. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and I see everybody crying. And I'm saying, like, that's not me. Mm -hmm. Why? It's like I could see my mom. Like, I, it's just like I could see through the wall. Mm -hmm. And I was like, why is everybody crying? That's not me. That's not me right there. And when I was standing there, there was an image beside me mm -hmm. that took me out. And I was standing beside an image. Mm -hmm. And I began to see my mom. Then they began to say, he's not going to make it. He's not going to make it. Mm. And I'm saying, like, why is they, you know, why is they, you know, why is all this going on? Mm -hmm. That's not me. Right. OK, then they take me in, and they began to start working on me. They took a tube about this long. Mm -hmm. And they stuck the tube down in my chest, mm -hmm. OK, back, back in 80-something, OK? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they stuck the tube in my chest. Mm -hmm. And they were hoping it was a 25. They were hoping the bullet would go in the tube. Mm -hmm. But it didn't. Mm -hmm. And they said, oh, my God, we got to do something quick. So they flipped me over to my side. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When they turned me over to my side, they stuck on, they cut me. I still have the mark. Mm -hmm. And they stuck the tube down in my side. Mm -hmm. And when they stuck the tube down in my side, the bullet, a 25, soaked up in the tube. Mm -hmm. OK? Mm -hmm. And then now, I'm sitting there. And then I hear this voice said, I want you to go back and tell my people the truth. Yes. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So they put me back together. I stayed in attention care for like three months. Mm. OK. I stayed, OK, I get ready to go home, and they roll me downstairs. Mm. I get down, and I cough. Mm. And when I cough, nothing but blood came out of my mouth. Jesus. Had been bleeding on the yeah. inside, and they didn't even know it. Wow. So they rushed me back up. How glory to your name. Thank mm -hmm. you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. And they began to roll me back up. They took me back up. They get the blood out. Amen. OK? So I get healed from that. I go home. And I still wasn't ready. The Lord said, are you ready? <laughs> I still didn't. So I took off again. Wow. And now I end up in prison. Uh, uh -uh. Never been to prison before. No, no, did what's right. Ended up selling drugs, went to prison. So the Lord came back again when I was in prison and said, now will you preach my gospel? I got older now. Mm -hmm. And 
And after being there for a year, I mean, eight months, I had, a, had five years. Mm -hmm. After being there like eight years, I mean, eight months, mm -hmm. I sit there and they began to get kind of bad in prison. I began to get in the Bible. I began to, you know, live that type of life. I began to get serious mm -hmm. in the Word. I began to learn Jesus, mm -hmm. okay? So, but it got so bad that they began to fight. I never been to prison, never been to jail. Mm -hmm. uh, first time going straight to prison. Mm -hmm. And now things are getting looking like it's getting like fighting and one guy went out uh, on a uh, dude in one of his assignment and came back and had got hit with the back of the, in his back with a sludge hammer because of a peanut butter sandwich. God. And somebody had stole the sandwich. And so now I'm scared, I'm saying, so I got on my knee, I said, Lord, uh, if you let me uh, out of prison, say I promise. I'll do what you call me to do. Amen. Mm -hmm. When I prayed that, two weeks after I prayed, Amen. I got a letter saying, going home. Amen. Going back home. And that's, I got out, I went home, I came back, and, and I began to sit around, but still I wasn't ready. Mm. I still was not ready, so I end up one morning, one day I was getting ready to go to church one morning, and as I was on the way to church, this is the last one, I, that's why I want to encourage somebody. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Even, let me finish this first, I'll come back. Yes, I went back, getting ready to go to church, right. and as I was on my way to church, the car spin around seven times in the middle of the road. Wow. Again. Again. The first one. I flipped Turned, over. Flipped over seven times. And this one I spin. This is spinning seven and this times. Time, I was on my way to church now. Mm -hmm. It was pretty, and all of a sudden a big storm just came. Mm -hmm. And then when it spent, I spin around in the middle of the road seven times. I hit a tree mm -hmm. and knocked a hole in my head. My God. And that put me at home for about two weeks. Mm -hmm. And so the Lord got me there and said, oh, Are you going to preach my gospel now? And I said, yes, but by my lifestyle, I was scared to go tell my sure. pastor. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I just cut the radio on, and I heard a testimony that this guy had been called by God and then go and got shot in the head. Ha, <laughs> glory to your name. And so I jumped up and really told my pastor. Uh -huh. And when I told my pastor, uh, he, he answered, he, he heard me, and that's where I got from there to there. Amen. Mm. Amen. Now, what anyway, a like, journey. Now you with him. Mm -hmm. You walk this. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no, no. I came in behind. You came behind. It. <laughs> yes. you, you missed all of it. I missed all of it. Uh, <laughs> she missed season one. <laughs> oh, yeah. But it looks like yeah. season, Let's call two. season yes. one. But, but she's we, in for season two. But yes. when you hear about it, when you hear, and then when you look, see. Mm -hmm. Can can you can, do, do you know that for real God can heal God can change yes. God can fix yes God can because even listening to your testimony yes. and, and not in the back of my head but in the front of my head yes. I'm like who's he talking about yes because when God comes and does a complete transformation yes. Yes. I can see none of what you just said <laughs> that mm -hmm. you endured and so we know that's the power changing of God yes and then God has blessed you with an awesome help me to yes. walk with you Amen. you know mm -hmm. in spite of Amen. there's yes. nothing about you that says you've been spinning, flipping, right. down the road, Amen. behind locked gates in a six by yes. six. Exactly. Three hots in a cot. There's nothing <laughs> yes. about you nothing. that says Amen. any of that. Right. So, so is that why you named the church Healing, Restoration, and Compassion? Well, uh, when the Lord began to uh, deal with about the name of the church, when he called me, well, I started in my living room mm -hmm. with like six people. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and. Then from down, I went to my sister. She allowed me to use the apartment. Okay. And it began to grow. Mm -hmm. And from then to a tent. But when I began to preach, I began to uh, step out on what God told me, the, the name of the ministry, healing came from like Benny Hinge to come on. Mm -hmm. And I used to be up there and say, Lord, I want that. I want that. Mm -hmm. And I used to lay my hands up there. You know, I didn't know what I was doing, but I wanted that. Right. Mm -hmm. I said, I want it. He said, well, Benny Hinge mean healing. So healing came from that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Restoring came from he restored my soul yes. in, with compassion. Amen. And uh, uh, so uh. when I came out of the wilderness, uh -huh. I was not taught. Mm -hmm. I did go to church, but uh, the Lord took me out in the wilderness to, to teach me mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. because I said, Lord, if I want to preach your gospel, 
Uh-huh. I want to see that the blind can see. I don't yes. want to preach. I want to re read it. I want to see it. I said, Lord, I, that was my desire. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. I want to see the evidence of what God has written. Mm -hmm. Yes. And, yes, and, and yes. I said, Lord, I want that. I, uh -huh. So he took me out and let me travel with a tent for like nine years. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, didn't have nobody just stepped out, just coming straight out the mm -hmm. world. Didn't go through this and then go through that. Mm -hmm. So he taught me. Amen. Straight from the willingness, the things of God. Nobody Amen. taught me. The lady, the lady that taught you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes, so <laughs> as he taught me, I began to minister. Mm -hmm. And the first encounter I had was a blind, my sister, mm -hmm. one of her eyes. Okay. She was blind in one of her eyes. Mm -hmm. And what he did, he pulled me away from everybody and separated me for two years when let me do nothing. I used to run, go to church and hope they would ask me to pray mm -hmm. and I would get there early, you know. Oh, yeah. And they and never they, called They you never today. called me. And I'm saying like, Lord, why? No. You know, and I got upset. No, and, no, uh, no, yeah. won't be calling yeah, well, you today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I said, I'm going to get there early so maybe I can so read a scripture. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then understand, yeah. God did not Call want me. Call everybody but you. Yes. Yeah. Right. I'm saying like, and I went home mad. Mad. Uh, uh, uh. I said, why I keep going? I mean, what, what's right. wrong with me? Right. Uh -huh. And so uh, after that, uh, I, he took me out there and he began to say, I want to teach you myself. And my first, like I said, my first encounter was mm -hmm. my sister. Mm -hmm. One night he had two years after sent me, not let me do nothing, mm -hmm. and he brought me off the shelf uh -huh. and sent me to a town called Boynesville. Uh -huh. And when I went there, my sister that night, he said it was a lot of apostles, a lot of big, and I'm a little minister. Mm -hmm. I wasn't an apostle then. Mm -hmm. I was just mm -hmm. a little minister. Mm -hmm. And as I prayed for mm -hmm. her and laid mm -hmm. my hands, her eyes had never been opened. My mom could never see an eyeball there. Mm. Wow. And when I prayed for her eyes, her eyes had Look at that. And there was the eyeball that she never seen. Amen. God, mm -hmm. God. And from then on, I started seeing leg untwisted. Mm -hmm. I began to encounter the things that God yeah, has right. written. Yeah. I seen counsel. I seen, mm -hmm. I seen cricket legs straight. I seen. I began to travel with right. a tent, and, and people used to come from places to places. Mm -hmm. I experienced a lot of healing. Amen. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and compassion is what I got now. Down to the church, I tried to come in mm -hmm. and teach them the kingdom. Right. Mm -hmm. uh, right. The kingdom is the word of God being fulfilled. Yeah. Yes. Uh, we take the church which is wills and bring us into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yes. The kingdom is the building. Mm -hmm. yes. The church go into the kingdom. Mm -hmm. yes. And the kingdom is the body of Christ. Right. Right. And the kingdom right. bring forth evidence. Right. Hope, glory, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The Amen. kingdom bring forth evidence. Mm -hmm. He said, mm -hmm. let my kingdom come and let thy will, will be, be done. done. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. This is awesome, Amen. awesome, awesome. Now, now, now let, let Lady Bear got to say something. She yes, can't just sit yes, on this couch yes, looking yes, cute. Yes, yes. We, got, we got about 30 seconds. So just come, come on and tell us something. But in the church, we experience every Sunday healing. Amen. So God is doing a great work with, in the church. Amen. You know, how, I just. How Amen. can we find your ministry? How can viewers, I know they want to come. We on Facebook Live every Sunday at 12, and the mm -hmm. church is up. It's 244 Bathsheba Church Road, Local Grove, Georgia. Amen. Okay, Locust Grove. Amen. Pray for us. Pray for us, Apostle. Pray for us. Gracious Father, in the name of Jesus, first of all, before we, we say anything, we just want to respect you are so holy and you know everything. So, Father, before I open my mouth, I ask you, God, to forgive me. Forgive me for any sin that I have committed, oh God, because I know that you know everything, thoughts. So, Father, in the name of yes, Jesus, yes, as we yes, come yes, before Lord. you tonight, maybe there's somebody Thank out you, there Lord that's God. listening. That their spirit has been left for dead. Mm. Oh my God, I thank you tonight, God. I stop by to encourage that person that is listening. That your spirit is coming alive 